So, 1970s Doma Bungalow. A lot of the houses of this age will need re-roofing. Usually the tiles are more porous, there's lots of problems with the ridges and the valleys. So this one, we're going to attack it full on. A lot of scaffolding. Scaffolding is absolutely essential of course. Very expensive to be able to surround a building, but fortunately it's only at a single level. Obviously a lot of care to be taken with uh, some of the things like the Doma Felix windows. But you can see, looking at these tiles, all the holes that's in them where water's now getting in. Vegetation has obviously rotted over a period of time. You can't be expected to go up on your roof and wash down the vegetation. So it's just inevitable that you've got this 30, 40, 50 year old shelf life of these tiles. The valleys have seen better days, all the water's come out and seeping in. And also these chimneys, no longer used, but you can see there's all sorts of problems with them. Right, so, why is roofing so expensive? Well, this is why these young lads are giving their backs to a lot of heavy labour, as well as skill. First thing that they do when they come on site, crack on, materials delivered, and obviously before the skip arrives, they've got to make a start. Once the skips come, and bear in mind these things are nearly 250 quid a piece, it'll take about four of them on this particular roof. Then they've got to start loading all the debris into the skips. Puts a fair old strain on the backs of these people and um, you're paying for that. The tiles are two way of course because not only are they taking all these off, they've got to put all the new ones back on. Occasionally if they damage any of the tiles, the new ones as they're putting them on because they're freshly baked, uh, they will be able to use them for cuts on the ridges. So, quite a bit of transposition of, of tiles. Obviously, you've got to make a start on the uh, chimneys as well. You can see the, the uh, fascia boards are rotting away. As they're walking up on the roof, these tiles are collapsing very easily. As many hands as you can get on the deck, getting off this old bitumen fell, the old lats, as well as taking the bricks down, obviously not damaging the actual structure of the house. So. It's uh, not a job for the faint-hearted if you don't like roofs. You've got to be very careful as well. There's lots of nails around on site at this time. Lots of dirt uh, that can be ingested. Uh, but these lads basically are trained to do the job as safely as possible. Every night the property has to be covered up. This uh, new type of felt, this breathable membrane that goes on is very strong stuff. They'll put the ridge tiles back on to protect it overnight because Murphy's Law is it is going to rain at some stage or another. But you've got to take utmost care to make sure you protect the house in all weathers. See those grey skies. These green tunnelised lats are designed to last for a lot longer than your traditional lats. And it's the care and accuracy and precision that means that these tiles are going to be laid straight on them. As you can see, there's a lot of tiles to lay, but the accuracy and the fitting of every single tile has to be right, otherwise it'll stand out. If it starts raining, of course, they've got to be extra careful because they're walking up and down on slippery surfaces. And naturally, like I said, it's going to rain. It always seems to do. The new valleys are looking particularly good. Yeah, all the cuts around the Velux windows are there. And of course, when they're up doing the ridges, a lot of these cuts can't be done down on the ground, so they have to be done whilst they're up on like this. A bit precarious this, but again, it's what they train for. It's what they practice, it's what they do. They've got to make sure, obviously, when it's raining, that they have got the same stability. As you notice from the filming, it goes from dry to rain to dry. They've just got to crack on and get this job done once they're committed to do it. As you can see, here, you know, he's still a very dangerous machine. And it's something that they have to look at uh, Making sure that every cut is done as accurate as possible, ready for the ridge tiles to go on. The ridge tiles can be, you can see how straight they are, the ridge tiles can be put on using ridge putty, traditional sand and cement, or a dry ridge system. 
but these lads just know they've got to work through all the cuts first before they get to that. Now they're on taking the fascia boards and soffits off. They left them on, left them on of course for the ability to get on and off the roof, but now they're finished with the roof, they can take these off. The actual timber itself on the joist is perfectly good. Still more cutting got to be done, more tidying got to be done, four of these skips. Oh, cup of tea, thank you very much. Nobody in the house, so you need a good neighbour. Look after the neighbours, always a valuable thing. And obviously I know it looks dirty and dusty, but as soon as they wash it all down, brush it, clean up the area and it starts raining, this will soon look good, as you can see. Got to start putting on the soffits now. Everything's got to be done as accurately and securely as possible. It's going to be there for another 30, 40 years. Not coming off in uh, after the next winter. Two nails, accurately placed. All the rigging starts going on. Got to be so accurate and so straight. From the street, you would spot if anything was wrong. Got a multitude of skills in order to do this job. And then ultimately, as it starts to get towards the end, they'll start stripping off the covering and start cleaning all the guttering and everything else that's round. Make sure that the fitment of all the plastics onto the roof are done with precision and really nice and tight. Despite the weather, these lads have got to be very accurate with everything that they do. Starting to look good as this roof's been put on. We're getting close to the end now. You can see the rain. Sometimes you've just got to go with it and uh, fit it and be as accurate as you can. There we see the finished product. It looks ever so nice. The owner of the building has got to make a start cleaning the outside, put some new doors on. All the vegetation has been taken off the walls. So we've got the good groundings for a new bungalow. This is going to look nice when it's done. Thank you for watching.